Good evening, everyone. I already sense some kind of paranormal activities going on uh, above our heads. I think it's just uh, specters of Hungarofuturism being activated. My name is Zsolt Miklós Völgyi. Uh, uh, on my left, uh, uh, Mario and Daniel. We are part of the Hungarofuturist movement. Uh, we are very thankful for uh, Clara and Johan, and also for Bori and uh, Jutka for inviting us. This is a precious moment uh, for this movement because this is a quantum leap uh, with regards to a scientific uh, approach uh, to, to Hungarofuturism. Uh, we are very, I mean, we were very excited to see that the, the exhibition uh, uh, that has been uh, um, introduced the the crying until laughing deals uh, with humors, but uh, we also have to admit that uh, we had absolutely no capacity in any regards to uh, to relate to humor at all, because we are Hungaro futurists and we are Hungarians, and I think Hungarians has absolutely nothing to do with humor. Furthermore, I think it's a, it is a privilege of of uh, of uh, central uh, colonial powers like you know British has amazing humor, Americans have amazing humor, Western Europeans in general have exceptional humor. Oh my God, I love their humor so much. But I think Hungarians just you know they are way better at uh, doing uh, or dealing with with depression. With suicidal thoughts, so like, um, sorry, Mayo. If you look at uh, Attila Jozsef, you know, famous Hungarian poet, he's exceptionally good at depression. He's, I mean, okay, I don't even want to go in details, but let's see. Rezső Seres, you know, the famous composer, composed uh, the 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 favorite song of uh, of of Hungaro Futurists. You know, that's practically the 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 unofficial anthem of Hungaro Futurism, the Gloomy Sunday, you know, that uh, started uh, or you know like uh, um, inspired in a way uh, an epidemic of of suicides. Uh, amazing, I mean, Gloomy Sunday, you know. Or look at um, Bela Tar and uh, László Krasznahorkai. They are the the best, I think, uh, nowadays when it comes to you know how to deal and utilize pessimism in every possible sense when it comes to making art. So this, these are our heroes, actually. So um, sorry to be uh, of disappointment, but uh, we are not going to talk about humor at all. On the contrary, we are going to talk about uh, what causes our uh, amazing capacity for depressive thoughts. And uh, we realized on the basis of uh, reading the, the famous German uh, geologist and psychologist, Willy Helpach. Willy Helpach, in 1950, uh, published this amazing book called Geopsyche. And uh, on the pages of this book, he explains the, uh, the various uh, conditions, how weather, climate, uh, the, the 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 ground or the 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 whole uh, 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 geological uh, circumstances of a of a of a certain region and then the landscape influences how people feel. So uh, within within one of his chapters, he 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 deals with this concept of uh, how. Uh, minerals and uh, and the geological conditions given in this uh, telluric, you know, uh, assemblage of, of a certain landscape influences uh, uh, the people's uh, psyche. So we realize that uh, in 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 when it comes to Hungary or the Carpathian Basin, and this is our lecture that intends to focus on, is its greatest geocultural asset. We call Uranium, just like in the fictional uh, world of uh, of the Marvel universe, uh, 
when it comes to Wakanda and their uh, precious asset, the vibranium mined. Uh, uh, this speculative material, uh, turanium, is also mined exclusively within the Pannonian plain. And Al L is in uh, uh, parentheses because it's Pannonian pain as well. So Pannonian plain and Pannonian pain is rooted already in this wisest possible sense of the language, in this very Heideggerian sense. So nonetheless, uh, Turanium is an uh, is a uh, is a is a is a um, um, geological asset that is uh, that has an extraordinary ability to absorb, store and release large amounts of pain, sorrow, grief, intergenerational trauma, depressive and suicidal energies. <clears throat> this unique mineral is named after the curse of Turan which is a belief that Hungarians have been under the influence of an evil spell for many centuries, which manifests itself as inner strife, pessimism, misfortune, and several historical catastrophes. And, uh, the, uh, and, and this concept of, of Turanian curse was described uh, uh, in the Hungarian literature history by Mihai Vörösmarty in a poem called Curse in the 19th century. It's, uh, you know, the title is Curse, Atok. And uh, I will read a short uh, part of this uh, uh, poem in Hungarian. Uh, Férfiak. Így szólott Panon vészistene, hajdan. Boldog földet adok, víjatok érte, ha kell. S vittanak elszántan nagy bátor nemzetek érte. S véresen a diadalt végre kivitta magyar. Ah, de visszáj maradott a népek lelkein. A föld boldoggá nem tud lenni ez átok alatt. Oké, okay, it's, it's a, 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 yeah, you, you, you can feel it, it's very spooky. And, and it's very tragic. It is this uh, tragic romantic vision of, of downfall and, and Hungarian uh, 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 s -s -depres depression and, and, and uh, so on uh, in the early uh, 19th century. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, I think uh, there, are, there are other alternative uh, interpretations. Some say that uh, maybe it's just a, a conspiracy. It's, it's just a conspiracy that maybe a Habsburgian one, and and maybe it's a you know it's it's a Habsburgian uh, colonial uh, black magic, and and from the uh, famous uh, uh, Habsburgian witch called Sissi. <laughs> we are not sure. There are alternative interpretations. Well, nonetheless, the curse of uh, Turan also manifests, as I said uh, previously, in its in the absolute lack of humor when it comes to Hungarians. So this is the reason why humor has always been, as I said, the privilege of uh, the winners of history, of uh, discendants of uh, great empires and colonial powers, whereas dwellers of the Pannonian plain have always been championing in negative and pessimistic thoughts. But, you know, scientists uh, still could not figure out whether this can be traced back to the fact that Turanium occurs to a large extent in the Carpathian Basin, or the other way around, the constant vibration of the negative energy of Hungarian people is what reconfigures the crystalline structure of certain minerals and turns them into turanium. So instead of solving the great scientific problem tonight uh, uh, during this lecture performance, we aim to publicize the idea that with the proper refining process, turanium can be turned into a kinetic energy material, from poison to medicine, from disadvantage to advantage, 
or in materialist Marxist terms, from this commodity to commodity. So without further ado, I would like to ask the uh, security guard uh, provided by the insecurity state parapolitical agency and security company to bring in the samples of the minerals. Here, two samples. One is uh, proto turanium, which is the mineral we find normally in nature, also in other locations in, in the world. Um, we will read at first the report of the official report of turanium, which uh, well states, as you can see, it's a black mineral. This is the proto turanium ore. Um, it's very hard. It, uh, well, the, the melting point is also at a very high temperature. It is composed of uh, silicon carbide, uranium, boron and uh, crystal water. It is often contaminated with calcium, barium and thorium. And, well, the interesting thing about this mineral is that when uh, being in touch with this negative energy that Short mentioned before and the negative vibrations in it, it reacts it uh, the negative vibrations act as a catalyst to for the creation of um, turanium so what we have here is turanium ore uh, it's green you can see it's a very special eigenschaft to say it like this of um, well the paranuclear energy that is only found in this chemical element. This energy, this paranuclear energy is known to disturb the normal alpha and gamma decay. So it somehow intervenes with uh, radioactive energy. Uh, it is also a bit radioactive because of the um, uranium that is included in it. And well, these disturbances of uh, nuclear energy um, also give it the, the ability to disturb time because most of the devices we use are based on, on the quartz uh, resonance and atomic resonance. Uh, that's why we, we're doing an experiment here with the clock. We will see um, how, how much it how, how much energy, how much um, paranuclear energy this sample emits. Um, I think it's really good because we are already a little bit behind of the schedule, so yeah. we can use uh, by, uh, terranium to a little to bit stop faster. the time. Yes, yeah. you're, you're I also right. wanted to point out that uh, the reason why uh, a guard uh, needs to assist uh, constantly uh, its carrying is because of its uh, preciousness and also because of the uh, telluric force of the nationalists uh, uh, Hungarian government want to uh, put their hands, their dirty hands on it, but uh, uh, thankfully for the for the insecurity state, it's in in, in of best state. hands exactly. Yes. Yes. But uh, uh, Daniel, isn't it uh, like a, a UV light, uh, uh, you know, uh, yes. um, reflective or absorbent? Because it's a uh, Yes, I but I need both hands to do this because okay, uh, if so I got maybe too Mario, near, can it, you, it may react Can you, uh, can you too turn much. yourself into a, a non-human uh, microphone stand for uh, Daniel? No, but uh, you can continue with the origin. Oh yes, let's explain the origin and he will explain uh, how this uh, uh, UV uh, reaction uh, starts. This is, by the way, it's poisonous what is happening right now in a very 
like uh, uh, how is homeopathic uh, uh, scale of uh, uh, radiations are constantly uh, you know um, uh, leashing out from the from the minerals uh, the reason why we are you know here is partially as performance to absorb the most part of the poisonous energy this is why we are paid for by the help of the precious support of uh, of uh, truffle uh, so uh, you are not going to be poisoned that much but uh, you can see uh, it's it's totally uh, uv reagent yes mario mario what's what's the thing with this with this extraterrestrial origin yes uh, um there are a lot of speculations about that jolt and um you know, it's it's uh, uh, um, this this uh, all uh, uh, terranium discourse. It's uh, uh, it's very highly complicated. But um, okay, you, I am I'm thinking you are slowly. Um, uh, you you can feel slowly this this radiation, but don't be afraid. It's it can be uh, it's it's maybe toxic, but it at the same time it it can be a cure also. It's like a pharmacon. Uh, and uh, okay the origins uh, some uh, there there is a, there is an opinion that uh, the the turanium uh, came to earth about uh, maybe uh, 200 million years ago when a gigantic asteroid hit the earth and uh, this was the devastating geohistorical event that uh, created the world's largest impact crater impact crater the Carpathian Basin and uh, uh, yes you can see it there yes we are sending it yes of course of course but uh, uh, wait a moment yeah uh, no 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 it's it's, it's that and, and yeah okay uh, okay okay and um, <clears throat> And and caused uh, this this uh, 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 asteroid caused also the mass extinction of many plants and animal groups, including the dinosaurs. But the, uh, but there are uh, but we are not sure. Maybe the hungarosaurs are still alive. Um, the explosion um, it it was it may have been of such energy that it ruptured the rock sheet and caused volcanic activity. And uh, but uh, it's a, a more scientific approach. There are there are a lot of other approaches, and uh, it's a cosmological explanation. But there are theories that maybe the terranium is in connection with a very enigmatic uh, interstellar object uh, called Umumau. You you. Can you write it down? It's very hard to. Uh, uh, I, I? I will show. Yes, okay. yes, you okay. should should write it down. Uma, and I will show it also for the audience. So let's see. Yes. Okay. But. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Yeah. It looks like a. It's it's uh, yes. It looks it's like a piece of. Uh, crap. Crap. Yeah. And also a space crap. Space no. crap. It's a space crap. But it's it maybe can be a, you know a space cigar. Ah, space cigar. It's a space cigar. You, but it you know, looks you like know. also like a, a galactus a, is smoking the space cigar. Or a, like a, a okay. techno phallocentric you know symbol of uh, of high powers or something like that. You know. Yes, but very it's toxic. But very toxic. Very toxic. But it's a depressing phallos uh, because you know <laughs> torineum is just causing depression. Yep. And uh, uh, but uh, uh, the, but this. But yeah, but um, there are uh, theories that this uh, uh, big uh, giant uh, uh, space phallus is just, you know, uh, uh, interplanetary um, weapon system. It's just a weapon system, spacecraft of sort. And these weapon systems are shooting missiles into planets. And maybe the Turanium asteroid that hit the Earth was just uh, this kind of space missile. And we are part of this whole uh, uh, intergalactic warfare. We are, we are part of a big, uh, you know, intergalactic war against, I don't know, but... Uh, them. But them, yes, them. They are everywhere. 
So according to the the, 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 the report, uh, the first samples were found uh, in the newly opened uh, northern wing of the Komloi uh, coal mine. Where is Komlo? Komlo is like, well, Budapest is here. Komlo would be like I, approximately I am not sure here. About, uh, uh, yeah. Komlo, yeah. I think it's close to Pech or something like that. I don't know because I'm from uh, Tatabanya. Yes, yeah, so Tatabanya is is here so i don't know what uh, but, the but thing the, is with komlo but you are denying of the existence of komlo i just never from, been there from you know Tata. i don't i don't i mean no, I don't okay. Okay. tata banya is real that's nonetheless yes. okay. true tata banya is real and uh, you know uh, miskolc is also real that's for sure i've been but, there uh, balaton is not real where is balaton yeah you have something to uh, in Turanian terms, the Balaton is not real, right? Yes, that's that's true. Because uh, it absorbs water. Like it is, it is also the the speculated reason why the Pannonian Sea disappeared, right? Oh, by the way, t- uh, talking of the yeah. the, the water, uh, th- there's a very high, you know, capacity of absorbing uh, uh, water of, uh, of of Turanium, and uh, I can see Mario when you entered this has been full and now it's like this level i mean it's crazy like look like it's only already here oh my god okay so nonetheless uh um, uh, um, uh, during a test drilling in 1832 uh, um, the first samples have been found and then the identification naming of the ore was carried out by this french geologist uh, Sulpice François uh, Bodan, who also used uh, uh, Mihai Vörösmarty, your Vörösmarty, uh, not mine, it's your Vörösmarty, and uh, and he was inspired by the by this uh, uh, poem you were uh, reading out loud. So he have chosen as an honorary member of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences for his discovery of uh, of, of of this uh, rare material, and uh, he created the first geological map of Hungary. And I think this, this something has to do with the vocabulary, I guess, right, Mario? Yes, of course. Um, but I mean, uh, um, yeah. okay, but, but, but I, 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 am, I, am, I am sure that Vrishmati was just a lonely old madman that was, uh, and he was used from outside powers, and in in this whole intergalactic uh, conspiracy. It, 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 whom, it's whom you are talking about? Them. Like. Yeah. But. Yeah. Like them, 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 like, them, uh, them, uh, them. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay, aha, uh-huh. okay, okay. But but you know, it's it's it's, it's this this happens always with, with 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 poets. There are there are always misguided, and and the visions are always you know, transplanted into into the brains from outside. I am I am sure that happened to to Mihai, also. Okay, but but uh, uh, vocabulary. Okay, we, we mentioned that the, the Turanium has a dark cosmic power that can absorb negative energy, store it, and then radiate it back into its environment. And um, maybe we, we should um, do a little experiment. Let, let, let me let me do it. Let me do yes, it. Yes, yes. You I, want to do I? it? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's a little yes. bit dangerous, George. Okay. okay. I don't have the gloves, but let okay. me do it. Okay. okay. So the experiment would be that uh, there's this precious piece of the uh, of the prototuranium, and I will pass it uh, uh, to you. What's your name, sorry? Philip, uh, you feel depressive enough? Can you feel a little bit more depressed? Okay, then. Do you feel depressed a little bit? Does anyone feel, I mean, they are all lying, obviously. Does anyone feel depressed? Oh my, um, please, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, like, uh, you one, know, one, you have one, to be one. proud of it. Embrace your Hungarianness. I mean, it's it's amazing. Who is, who is, who is feeling the most depressed? Ah, yes, 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 I always know. So please just hold it in your hand and try uh, to uh, unleash as much negative energy as you have inside yourself. I mean, I hope there's enough, but yeah, just unleash it as much as you can. Pass it on uh, to Balazs and then onwards to Adrian and then uh, by the end, it's going to be a 
like uh, super, you know, like magnetically or I don't know, I uh, like kinetically uh, 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 charged with negative energy. And maybe we will do a little experiment with that. And maybe it even activates uh, the uranium, right? I mean, yes, you should explain yeah. the how it's how it's because with science I'm not good. I no, I, I I've uh, always been good at literature and uh, you know like. I already tried around. to explain it uh, that it's like it's like um, well, these bad energies are a catalyst, right? For the for the. Oh, so we can uh, uh, turn it into like because we are in the midst of this exactly. energy crisis, exactly. we can also use it uh, exactly. like. Uh, yeah. So we can do like turanium power plants, like yeah, and, name and it after Bela Torre and uh, <laughs> Laszlo Krasna <laughs> exactly. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Which uh, maybe brings us to the to the map, right? To the yes, fold, yes, fold, yes, uh, yes. Fold map. Because uh, interesting, interestingly enough, the the map of the fault lens of um, of uranium ore or proto uranium ore coincide with the with the borders after the Trianon treaty right yes you're right you are so right. we are very thankful for the french for that exactly. it's uh, this is why we always nourish a very good relationship with the french because we have always thought that we lost you know two thirds of uh, whatever kind of uh, 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 territories we had, but uh, now it turned out that this actually they provided us this special unique asset, just like Wakanda has vibranium. Now we have Turanium, so now we are very thankful because uh, how is it, uh, 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 Daniel? Like you, you, you think like this is like like Turanium starts something like like here or uh, or something like that? Yeah, like I, when I you, think when I you think more more like here. Ah, because you are from Austria, I know, yes, yes, no. yes, yes, yes. It's just, um, well, in, in Burgenland there is no Turanium. No? I mean, there is the potential for it, but it, it hasn't been found. There is other regions in Austria where they think that something because similar uh, uh, to Turanium uh, uh, can be. UMV also took their hands on it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know, I know. They, this is always what it. they are doing yeah. with, with, uh, with, with Mole. Yeah. But what are you doing? Oh my God! Yes. The water but is what's this less. thing with the with the mobile phone you are doing? Uh, I'm just preparing uh, my uh, uh, uranium device. I can measure the sinking level of depression in the room with this device. It's it's also uh, connected to our uh, experiment that, um, you know, Turanium can change and absorb the negative energy from the room. And uh, at the end of our uh, session, I will uh, uh, <coughs> measure the levels here of bad karma or bad mojo. And I am sure that the levels are sinking at this moment. Well, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's it's something I can o already see when it comes to your uh, uh, class. But uh, what I was asking uh, uh, previously is that uh, how come uh, that, uh, that that this energy of of the uranium has not been utilized yet? Like how come that this something you know like we have like silicon, right? Silicon is 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 a is a ubiquitous you know uh, uh, a mineral that is. Practically, we live in this silicon age when it comes to Anthropocene, you know, uh, times and conditions and this geocultural, you know, um, uh, manifestation of, uh, of a peculiar kind of uh, uh, element. This is, this, is, this is just everywhere, you know, it's in our computer, in, in the microscope, it's, it's, all, it's all over. How come Turanium has not been used for such purpose? I mean... The, the you know the the quick answer would be it's because of them yeah. i mean them them you know yes, them. but then we have a scientific approach to that as well right i mean i think the the first explanation would be because it's not found so often at silicon silicon is in 90 percent of the earth's crust it's uh, i mean it's uh Appearing as minerals, of course, which then get refined and then used for the for their hyperconductivity. But the thing with uranium is that it doesn't conduct anything. It's uh, totally indifferent to oh my God. everything. <laughs> it's uh, 
in the peripheries of every scale, you know? Seriously? Like you, cannot, um, you cannot take the temperature of it. You cannot measure the decay. What? You cannot measure anything of it. Oh my God. Yeah. And that's the proto um, Turanium. So the Dalai Lama was wrong. He was because wrong. Because when he was asked last time you were here, uh, he was asked by someone from the audience that um, saying that uh, you know Hungary is the epicenter of of the the ley line uh, network uh, interconnecting these precious you know energy lines of of the earth and the epicenter is here in Hungary in Dobogóke the beating heart of the earth you know again Hungarian language is so wise just like German. Yeah. So what I was thinking is that Dalai Lama, when he was asked about that, that if it's factual that, that uh, the epicenter of the earth is, is here, I think you know, he was laughing just like a typical postmodern you know, dude, like a puppet cynical figure cynical. Of, of the, you know, the, the secret powers or whatever. We are not going in, in that direction. But uh, so nonetheless, uh, he was laughing loud and saying that uh, you know, it's because Everyone uh, who comes from certain place thinks that the epicenter of his, her, their uh, world is uh, from uh, from its origin, you know, and that's the reason why Hungarians think that it's uh, that it's uh, Dobogóke, which is the epicenter, energetically speaking, of of, of the Earth. But I think uh, he's wrong. We have a, a scientific proof here that is Turanium, right? Yeah, maybe that's what he feels. Maybe he has an affinity to to discover the you know the fault lens of the Turanium or but going back to the epicenter of the earth focusing on of the on the silicon age, I mean the silicon valley, you know. It's a concentration of it also in the sense of the imagination. So that's why Turanium has a great potential to make an uh, another center you know the the periphery of so Mario silicon. you think when we are like when we feel depressed and doomed and devastated also technologically so behind like seriously so behind hunger is so dumb with technology do you think we can turn uh, the Carpathian basin into a like a Turanium valley or a new you know silicon valley is there any kind of potential in that or we should think about more spiritually when it comes to that. I think we can, uh, you know, uh, mix these two, two alternatives. We can be a, um, a big spiritual empire, and in the same time, we can be a big technological empire. And uh, okay, maybe, maybe. Uh, Sometimes we feel this depression around and these bad thoughts and bad feelings that, okay, I am a hungry and I will kill myself and so on. But, but we can use this energy. We can, use the, we can capitalize it. We can use it. We can, uh, uh, we can use it like a technology. It's, it's, the, it's the technology of depression, it's the technology and, uh, uh, and the monopole of trauma. We, are the mo we can be the monopole state of the trauma. We have a trauma monopolium. So, and, and we can So we can turn it. this into True like a, also like a... It's a, the new Eden. Aha, uh -huh. okay, okay. The Carpathian Basin is the new Eden. So it's like yeah, a, it's a, we, 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 we don't have to escape to Mar Mars, you know, Elon Musk and so on. No, everybody have to come here and we can make it to a new utopia through depression. And uh, what do you think, like if we turn this, this field, this imaginary field, I don't know if it's true. I mean, Tatabanya, I know it's true, but what else? Like Budapest might be because we are here. Uh, but if we turn it into like a trauma monopoly game, like who who wins? I don't I don't know. Austrians, obviously, yes. No, uh, no. Okay, no, now you sure are coming, not. yes. Well, I don't know. It depends how big you go. But I think um, 
I mean, we we also haven't touched on the on the sense of it being a, a conspiracy or the potential for for being a conspiracy that creates these um, spaces for thinking also depression differently, for example, and use it as a therapeutic geology. So we should. Try out if uh, the experiment worked, right? Yes. Uh, let's have a look at uh, the measurement device. Uh, are you going around? Okay, okay, yes, yes, you should. And uh, where where is the the stone? It's. I mean, it's already in the first line, but it's. I can sense it. It. It just like it absorbs so much negative energy already. Very good. Very good. Okay. So. Uh, is is it yeah is it very very hot <laughs> so okay okay what about the clock what about the clock the clock is working i mean i no, can clearly sense stopped. that this is completely empty so this this definitely absorbs so much so much water well. Oh my God! It stopped. Oh my God! So we have we do we have time, Bori? Do we have time? I mean, it's it stopped. It's closed. Oh, oh, oh my God! Okay, okay. Our own time. It's the third time. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's the Turanium time. It's a Turanium time. Mm -hmm. Okay, but there's one very last question, Mario. If your device is right and it absorbs so much negative traumatic energy and it's scientifically proved. I mean, I'm pretty sure that if you like attach a piece of a marker with the, you know, uh, uh, duct tape into your mobile phone, it's perfect. Am I joking, you think? So what's, what's uh, the conclusion, scientifically speaking? What can we do with it? How can we utilize this rock? It can stop time. Yeah, it's just okay. Then um, it can stop time. It uh, it can absorb the, all the depression in the in the room, and uh, I think uh, we can build a new future with it. Somehow, no. Okay, we have our own time. We have our own history here in the Carpathian Basin. We can use it. We can, we can, or our uh, trauma monopolium can be used to build a new future. I, I think it sounds nice. We, we have no, I, I think Vrush Marty can also ag uh, I agree with that. Szerintem a Vörös Martinak is bejönne ez igazából. Csak a Habsburgokat kell megoldani ebben a sztoriban. <laughs> well, we have to export it. We have to export it. We have it. to yes. export it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's a consortium. We, a we consortium, have to build a new exactly. consortium, like like. Uh, yeah. 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 Let's build an Austro-Hungarian consortium also, on it. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Uh, a middle European consortium. Absolutely. But I think the. Uh, the the insecurity state uh, which is now uh, possessing the materials are uh, about to leave it because we have this uh, time uh, you know limits uh, to uh, have this right to uh, make uh, this scientific uh, uh, explanation and I think it is also also time to uh, leave the space for um, the audience themselves to, you know, take it or leave it. You have this chance. This is something you can uh, bring uh, yourself with. You know, this is something we try to uh, uh, cast a light on it. And um, we're not saying that this is, uh, you know, because we are scientists, we are part of the Geo uh, uh, Psychological Institute of the Hungaro Futurist Movement. We are not saying that uh, 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 our uh, idea cannot be challenged. All we are saying is this is something that should be taken care of. Go, go and dig. 
there is Turanium in every in every house. Turanium within you. Thank you very much. Thank you.